Hi, welcome to my channel if you are new and a big thank you to the new subscribers. Thanks for your support. Over a year ago I uploaded a red beans basic recipe and it looks like a lot of people liked it. This time I made white northern beans and in a way that some of you might not have made it before. By the way, you can cook the beans first in a pressure cooker for 25 to 30 minutes after soaking them overnight. You can slow cook them in a crock pot as well. However, I am making them from scratch and on the stop top just in case someone doesn't have the other type of cookware. I soaked them overnight for a total of 12 hours. The ones on the left are soaked and the ones on the right are dry. They tripled in size, so first things first, and now throw away the soaking water. And have ready three cloves of garlic, a bay leaf, and about half red bell pepper. Now I'm gonna add eight cups of water to the beans. And I also want to invite you to subscribe to my channel and to check out all the recipes that I have uploaded. Activate the bell for new recipes. Now I add the garlic, the bay leaf, red pepper and bring it to a boil. Don't forget to check out the red beans recipe and the kabucha squash soup at the end of the video. Once they come to a boil I am going to remove the foam that is in that's the impurities from the skin of the beans. Half cover them and lower the temperature to a soft boil. 15 minutes later, add the ham and bring up the temperature to a boil and measure one tablespoon of sweet paprika and add it to the beans. An interesting bit of info is that sweet paprika is just dry and ground red pepper. You might have seen them uh, the red peppers in New Mexico hanging outside from the houses to dry. That's the same red pepper used for the paprika. Now I'm gonna cut the ham into cubes. I'm using just plain low sodium ham. Ask the person at the deli counter about it because most of the hams these days, particularly in the US, have some have corn syrup in them. Those are Bilbao style chorizos. They are not from Spain. They are from Los Angeles. They taste good, but they have nothing to do with the quality of chorizos you can find in Spain or Latin America. And I'm gonna cut them just like I do the ham. I'm also going to add saffron to the beans, but I will reserve it for now. And you just need a few strands of saffron. As the beans cook, chances are that you will need more liquid. So I made homemade chicken broth. It adds a ton of flavor to the beans. You can use vegetable broth too. And in a moment, you'll see what I make with the veggies from the broth. You might have noticed that I have not added oil to the beans and that is all I will add. Here's a kitchen tip for you. If you're using a stainless steel frying pan, Heat it on medium heat for about 5 minutes. Once it is hot, add the onions and saute them for about 5 minutes. That's going to turn the bottom of the pan into a non-stick surface and the ham and chorizo won't stick to it. Now add the red bell peppers and saute it for about 5 minutes as well. I'm just flavoring the oil. Next, I make room for in the middle for the ham and chorizo. And saute them as little or as much as you want. The beans are almost done. The, in theory, they should have taken an hour and a half to cook, but these were probably old and they took two hours to soften. After an hour or so, check them out to see how they are doing and cook them until they are tender. Now add the saffron and do the following. Those are the veggies I put in the chicken broth. 
tomatoes are carrots and leeks and bell pepper, garlic. And I'm gonna blend them with the red bell pepper in the beans and about one tablespoon of the cooked beans. That's gonna thicken the sauce or the water in the beans. I don't throw away anything. Here's another cooking tip. Add a couple of toothpicks to the onion before you cook it uh, to make it easier to pull out of, out of the pot. It won't fall apart. Let me ask you, how do you make your white beans? What do you put in them? I have also made them with squash, kale, spinach, and vegetable broth. You don't have to put any meat in them. Don't forget to remove the bay leaf. I don't need it, but some people do. Now we'll integrate the blended veggies to the pot of beans. And that's gonna elevate this recipe to another level. You just have to try that. It's really good. Next are the sauteed ham and chorizo with the veggies, the onions and the red bell peppers. I will leave them there on medium heat for five minutes so that they can release their flavors to the beans, to the pot of beans. Up to this point, I have not added any salt to the beans because both the ham and chorizo have salt. But after tasting them, they needed a little sea salt. Meanwhile, I got three slices of jamón serrano. You can use prosciutto as well. And I'm gonna microwave them for one minute on high. The pepper towel will absorb most of the fat. Now I'm gonna tear it into smaller pieces to add it to the beans and use some of it for garnishing. That's all friends, hope you liked the recipe. It turned out licking fingers good. Chaito.